these puzzles. Well, of course, I understand everyone wants to win and you cannot win if you uh, are not good in calculation and tactical vision, because tactics may help you to save even a really worst position. And uh, that's why here we are going to practice with puzzles. I'm going to explain how I solve puzzles and you are uh, going to learn it. You will be suggesting your own solutions yourself. So let's uh, start. Let me check if everything is working. Oh, by the way, uh, so this webinar is a good uh, practice for me just to warm up because today I play in the National League of Argentina and uh, right now it's uh, 11 a.m. But my round starts at 4 p.m. So I have a few. Well, I will conduct this event and then I have some time to have a lunch and then uh, go to the tournament venue. Okay, so just a few things before we start. So if you have any questions, I'm here, okay. Uh, by the way, as for the results of our tournament, they were published yesterday. Uh, well, there were a few cheaters, they were banned. So um, that's why the winners, please contact me. Uh, send me an email at uh, school at chestlands.com. Okay, we start. Okay, thank you for your suggestions. Well, first of all, well, yes, uh, uh, of course, most of you found the solution immediately, but let me explain how you should think. Well, what do we have? Well, first of all, this last move from black, but that's not the main thing. However, we should pay attention. Looks like there is nothing seriously changes after the rook goes to a2. What we should uh, look for. So first of all, a lot of pieces attacking the king. And the king is exposed. So this is how we should try to take advantage of it. And uh, uh, well, we we may not obligatory delivery checkmate in this position, but we uh, may gain the material. However, make sure that your position is winning. So here the solution is pretty simple. You are looking for checks, captures and threats. Checks first, captures second, threats third. So you play rook is eggs like was suggested by Paul. Uh, then the king goes to d8, right? So, and after which you cannot checkmate, but you can deliver this nice fork. The king moves further, you take the rook and you have extra exchange in this position. And one extra pawn. So let's make this moves on the board. That's it. Okay. Let's continue. What about this position? Well, it's why to move. What can we say? Our bishop is under attack. This is an important factor. Uh, the other thing we may notice that uh, our king is exposed, but uh, the queen is attacking the c7 here. This can give you a hint. Can we attack the c7 with something else? Then you definitely answer yes. There are such options like knight b5 and knight d5. Well, knight b5 seems to be attractive, but uh, then the bishop captures on b5. So the, that's why it's unlikely to be the solution of the puzzle. And that's why you should be looking for knight d5 move, threatening to take on c7. What we expect uh, them to play after knight takes d5? Well, can they secure the king? b6, c6. Well, king b8 probably, because I don't really see how they save this uh, c7 pawn. So king b8, after which we may capture with 
our queen on c7, the king goes to a8. However, what then? Who can tell me how to continue? So king e8 and uh, well knight b6 is quite attractive, but I don't think we can play it. Anyway, we this is how we gain two pawns and also continue the attack. So it's likely to be the solution of this puzzle. Let's make these moves on the board, and then we can move the bishop to let's say to e3, for example. So knight d5. Okay, they take here. This is what I didn't analyze. My mistake. So uh, I didn't analyze it because uh, here the solution is quite simple. You just simply play rook c1 and uh, they cannot uh, save the c7 pawn. Another move you can play... Oh, no, you cannot. So only, only uh, rook c1 works. Rook c1, queen g4, rook g4 with a temper, queen d4, check, bishop a3. And that's it. No, they will play bishop, uh, queen to e5, but we take on c7 already. Okay, so rook c1, queen g4, okay. This move, and that's it. But it's uh, th this is what I wanted to show you. So I'm opening another board. Let me turn the lines off. So uh, once again, f6, knight takes d5, queen c4, rook c1, queen g4, rook g2, queen d4, bishop e3. So you are always looking for a tempo gaining moves in a sharp position or in a puzzle. Here, uh, they if they take it's a checkmate, of course. They have no other move to say the c7 pawn except this. And once this move is played, it actually doesn't save uh, their their position. You can still capture on c7, for example. Maybe there is something better. Knight is in. okay. Let's let's take with the rook. King goes there, and then you may play this move. Uh, wait a sec. No, you don't. You can play better here. Let me tell you. Well, uh, let me find how. Um, this is a strong attack and you can really succeed with it. So I was uh, thinking about this move and then knight e7. But I don't see a continuation. Knight e7, queen c7. Then rook here, but bishop c6. Well, okay. Okay, well, you can just play something simple. Well, rook d7 is another way uh, to continue, but then queen h2. And then we sacrifice the exchange for nothing. Okay, this is where we can stop the analysis. So, for example, even something like this is playable and you're winning okay fine so we are done uh, let's go back to the puzzle so let's continue with the next one in this position okay knight c6 will play against the, again this king is vulnerable let's try and uh, take advantage of it what else to pay attention to our queen is hanging but the king is really restricted it has no squares we control everything our task is just to find the way how to checkmate. Well, well, I think it's just simple. Queen of six. Why chess comes are just so simple puzzles to me? Uh, yeah, so maybe I can somehow... Uh-huh, no. Okay, let's do one more and then I'll switch um, um, the difficulty of these puzzles. Okay, looks like our rook is trapped, but actually uh, the black's position is terrible. And again, it's about their, um, their development and the king. So they are not developed and the king is vulnerable. How should we play in this case? 
Well, what are your candidate moves? So, first of all, the king can be attacked through both sides as well as through the e-file. Well, uh, right now, queen e4 maybe doesn't make much sense because of bishop d7, the tempo gaining move. So, maybe queen to h4 makes sense. How do we achieve it? We achieve it in case if we play knight e5 or knight g5. Definitely, it's better to capture a more valuable piece. And after that, if they play this move, we can still do queen here. Uh, then we can take on e5 or we can take on e5 immediately. And looks like we avoid problems, capture this pawn, also the pawn on e5, it's a winning position. But what if they capture our rook on e5? Well, then queen h5 should still work. And after bishop g6, which helps to gain a temporary and defend against this check, we uh, luckily, because of this knight on um, e5, capture this bishop on g6, and after h takes g6, we gain all material back and save our rook. And the position is, of course, winning. Uh, we will be one piece up, actually. So, knight e5, bishop f5, queen goes to h5. I do not analyze any king moves, because queen enters the enemy camp. And that will be a disaster. So, here you take here. But, uh, yeah, it's a good point to uh, look at... Uh, such move like king e7, which seems to be a disaster. How should we continue in this case? Well, you may try queen f7, king d6, but then I don't see a checkmate. That's why just a simple continuation with knight c6, which forks the queen and the king, and you win. Okay, let me close it and uh, let me uh, change no, how to change the difficulty of these puzzles. Okay, maybe the difficulty will increase while, once I solve everything. And guys, don't worry to spend a lot of time per puzzle. Because uh, it's better to, so to spend a lot of time and solve the puzzle properly. Because this is what you can do in real game. You have to calculate all lines and make sure that your combination works. You shouldn't uh, play and hope for his mistake, for the mistake of your opponent. Okay. Uh, well, this time I'll give you uh, some time, so it's your uh, chance to show me, um, to find the winning combination and show me uh, how exactly you think. So, suggest how to win here with white and please also tell me uh, how did you come up with it. This is even more important. So the problem is that they take on g2 here, I'm sure you can realize it. Uh, right now you don't have any checks that make sense, so queen g6 is the only check, but this is a blunder. Well, basically, uh, we can play uh, queen g5, rook c5, or rook b7, and uh, this is how we checkmate. But uh, we don't have so many tempi. First of all, we need to defend on g2. How to defend on g2? We can do it uh, with two moves, this move and this move. Which is better? Well, probably queen f3 is better because it allows us to play queen f6 with a check. 
So let's say we continue with queen f3. How do they play? Uh, with queen e3, we also threaten to take here and also to take on the f7. So, for example, if they simply move the rook, we capture on b7 and f7 is lost. They play f5, we capture in Passan and the position is completely losing. So, here queen f3 is likely to be the solution. Right. So, gxlt suggests a proper continuation. Well, h5, I didn't consider this move, but I don't think it can stop us. So, rook b7, there are two things they can do. h4, uh, king h4, and no checks. Well, g5, but still king to h5, and uh, it's relatively, the king is relatively safe. Uh, they may t capture here right away, uh, then we take with our queen, then they play h4. Well, after which we can continue and move our king to f3. They can uh, check us with queen d1. And uh, we should make sure that there is no perpetual check. So once again, uh, rook g2, queen g2, h4. King f3, queen d1. King goes to f4. Oh, well, rook is on b7, rook b7. Then they play rook g2, queen g2, h4. King takes a, oh, king goes to f3, queen d1, check. King f4, queen d4, let's say. Okay, no, no, no. Let's play. Let's play this move. King e three. Queen c one. King d four. And then we can get our king to d six and hide it behind the rook. Okay, let's play it. So rook b seven, rook g two. Uh, well, uh, does it make sense to move the king and not accept this sacrifice? No. If we play this move, it's rook g four. If we play this move, it's uh, probably. Queen h2. So take h4, king f3. Well, actually, this is what we need to analyze. Because when you go, uh, when you initiate this combination, you should make sure that uh, it works. It works to the very end. You shouldn't stop your analysis. So king f3, queen d1, uh, where to move the king to secure the king's position? Uh, first I thought that, but then this. And after king g5, it's this. But then I can continue with this move. And it seems working. So yeah, it seems working. Uh, this, this, take, take. Well, g5 doesn't make much sense here. g5, queen g5. Uh, they should be looking for another check. And such check like that is unlikely to work because then we continue with this move and successfully block with our queen. Or if they play this move, then we play that. And after this move, queen f2, no more checks. So that's why queen f4, they go there, now they take, because if they do this, we just retreat, so they have to take, after which we move the king, right? Now if f6, it's uh, king h6 and then king g6. Um, So that's why, well, I'll show you. So queen here, oh, no, 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 not queen here, but f6. Well, you can play this move right away. And once they check you again, you deliver a check by moving the king. So this is the move to analyze, after which you continue with, 
while well, king h4 queen f2 is a repetition so here you may play uh, you can actually well maybe king f6 is still a good idea because this this and then you escape there he continues with this however now you have a rook to block these checks but i don't see that it works instead i suggest you to play this weird move and the point is that uh, well if they do this you escape if they do f6 which does make sense actually because our king has to move and they take our queen ah, we cannot checkmate with rook b8 okay well then we have to do this instead but it seems to be a draw yes it looks like a draw so in this position looks like you have to go there they continue with this move king e7 queen c5 king d8 queen d6 you go there they check like that you go there they do this you do this and once your king moves it is a check and then you can bring the queen to defend your position so it's actually quite a difficult combination okay okay let's continue uh rook e8 yeah our king is vulnerable so they are threatening with this move to pressure here um because if our queen moves to defend the f2 pawn they just deliver a mate also if our queen moves it is a mate and again you should you have two rooks and the queen but uh, two rooks in the attack and your queen potentially into the attack that's why you should be looking for immediate tactical strikes and yes such strikes exist so which move to start the first move that comes uh, that should come to your mind is this right well if they do not take it's just a mate if they do take we have two checks queen to g5 and queen to h6 well this time queen h6 is better because it also attacks the h7 pawn and then we just take it so rook g7 queen h6 it's just a very simple puzzle okay in this position uh what are they threatening uh they are threatening our knight maybe the b7 pawn as well they may fall under a discovered attack if we somehow get rid of the e pawn um but uh, does it mean we should play e6 e6 seems to be like a very natural move here uh but let's uh, decide maybe we can find something else maybe we can uh, somehow trap the queen in a different way let's say we play a5 they take and maybe we play e6 now and the queen is trapped well actually no the queen can go there and there hmm okay what else do we have well, playing e6 right away threatens with knight d3, right? Uh, what they can do? Can they somehow escape with the queen? Looks like not. a4 doesn't work. They cannot block it. They can play with the knight, but uh, to secure the c3 square. Well, right. After e6, the queen is immobilized, and we simply apply our natural discovered attack so your task together with uh, uh, calculating the line and uh, finding the solution is to realize which tactical motives you can take advantage of in this position so here when the queen went to b4 the first thing that came to my mind is this potential attack so the bishop from a fate can attack the queen in order to make it work we should push the pawn it's always best uh, to push the pawn with a temper but this is not the case however then you also realize that the queen doesn't have squares to escape that's why playing e6 uh, threatening with knight d3 leaves the queen with no squares to escape that's why they have to play something else and you can continue with that well actually another logical move here can be a king move well and if the king moves uh, then uh, you can uh, trap the queen in a different way maybe 
Uh, well, you can just play knight d3, the queen moves to the safe square, or you take here, or maybe you decide to take the rook if you think your knight escapes. I would take the knight on e5. Okay, fine, let's continue. Uh, they took our knight on e5. However, this is a checkmate in one. What are we talking about? Come on, just come. Why you do so simple puzzles? Okay, this is a more complicated one, I thought, but actually it's not. Here the point is that uh, if our rook moves away to f7, for example, they take on e6. If we move there, uh, if we move there, it's just a pin that we can hardly get rid of. Maybe they will continue checking us or something like that. Uh, but this is not what you should be looking for. First of all, when your opponent creates a threat, your task is to think uh, whether you can get rid of this threat and at the same time gain a temper. What do you think? Is there such a way to make a move, gain a temper, get rid of the problem, as well as maybe gain something? What do you think? So, okay, waiting for your suggestions. I'm checking your comments on uh, Twitch on Facebook and, oh, no, no, not on Facebook, on Twitch, uh, my YouTube channel, and at Cheslans. So usually we do our classes on um, Sundays, but this time I decided to do it on Saturday as a way for to warm up for me before the tournament. And uh, another way is just because uh, I have some obligations on a Sunday. That's why I cannot conduct any event on Sunday. Okay. Uh, here, Joe, uh, Paul suggests c6. I think Paul has in mind such a move like f3 here. Not c6, but f3. Why? Well, right. With this pawn move, we check the king and they have to react immediately. If they just simply move the king somewhere, we capture the e2 pawn. Okay, and if they capture, then we realize that these two pieces are on the same uh, file. So we can simply use our other rook to pin it and take for free, because they cannot avoid this problem. Okay, G adds LT suggested C5 and Knight D4. Well, how is it possible? Because if you play C5, Bishop E7, then Knight D4, well, but they simply move the rook. So definitely F3. And then this, uh, well, this rook, not this rook, because this rook has to defend. And then you just take. Queen d6. Okay, we have we had a pin. Uh, we had another pin. Uh, if we get rid of the queen, it's bishop c6, which is good. Um, what else? Uh, there is also a kind of attack through the e file, and probably this is what we may base our uh, solution. Well, the most simple thing to do is uh, something like that. Bishop c6, queen takes c6, and knight e5. And if they take our queen, we take on c6 with a check. Uh, the king goes to d7 to attack our knight. Our knight retreats to e5 with a check. And then our other rook captures on d1. So we gain a minor piece in this case. Is it the best solution? Yeah, it is the best solution because uh, what else? If we take on e5 right away, they take and we may uh, we, we will gain the queen, but maybe in, if in the cost for a rook, at, at the cost of a rook. So bishop c6 check, queen takes, then knight e5. After they take, this move is also a discovery check, you see? King goes there, so knight e5, another check. Once the knight moves, we just simply capture this bishop, we have extra bishop. Okay, now black is into the attack. Oh, 
Oh, well, well, the king is vulnerable. We have a light squared bishop, which is good. But let's look at the squares where the king can move. So these are not uh, a lot. Well, these are the squares we attack. So they can only move to g2. So you need to uh, somehow attack these two squares, f1 and g2. Ideally, you'd better bring the bishop to h3 which is uh, not possible here, at least uh, not quickly. That's why let's look for something else, because they are also threatening with a mate. However, and our queen is under attack, actually. However, once we move uh, our knight, the g7 is protected. This is what you may also have in mind. But instead, maybe you'd better look for something else. So. Uh, well, first I wanted to do this move, but then I realized that knight d2 doesn't work because they simply capture with the bishop or even with the rook. Uh, what else to look for? Well, this queen sacrifice is nice, but uh, I'm not sure that it works. For example, we suck the queen, they take, and then how? Knight there to fork? Well, probably, but they can even capture our f3 knight. And if we take on h6, they simply retreat back. We just don't have enough material to checkmate here. Okay, what else to look for? Okay, well, if we want to play this move, then we should get rid of the rook. So maybe this move works. Knight d1, then you play rook e1, but then the king escapes to g2. Can we checkmate the king on g2? Well, we can deliver another check with our rook, after which the king goes there. It's the only move. And then bishop g4 is a checkmate, right? So it's easy. Queen d1, and if they take with the knight, it is a checkmate, but you also have to check what happens if they do not take. Well, if they do not take but move the king to g2, it's basically the same, but with our queen. So queen d1, knight d1, rook e1 check, this is the only move, another check, and here we should check the enemy king because it has no squares, any check would be checkmate. So bishop g4, that's it. Queen takes h7. Wait, 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 wait. Do the blunder on f2, king d1. Knight e3, king c1. Ah, there is no check on c2. Okay, there is no check on c2, but there is a check on e1. So this puzzle is quite simple. So you see, queen c2 doesn't work because of the queen on h7, but queen e1 does work. Okay, here we play with white pieces and our queen is under attack. But, but if it was not, any back rank check would be a checkmate. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a pawn that we can promote. So, for example, a7, they take. Ah, they take with the check. This is an issue. If they take, this is a check, so that's the main problem. But we can promote our pawns together with the knight. Actually, we can promote just two pawns. We do not need any help. Well, which move to play? Queen g4, queen f2 leads to a mate, so it's not an option. So we should somehow keep our king safe and also threaten something. Hmm. Threaten something like promotion. Well, this one is a bit harder. So what are our candidate moves? Well, a7 doesn't work because they take with a check and then they checkmate. Uh, that's why, uh, well, blocking with the knight, I don't think makes any sense. Well, they can just simply take with their rook. That's why it should be a queen move. Where to move the queen? Good point. Uh, uh, well, if we move the queen somewhere, where we allow the enemy queen entering the f2 square, we lose. So here it makes sense to continue with either this move or with this move. Because these are tempo gaining move. It's not only, well, queen g2 is a tempo gaining move. Queen e2 is a move that supports our passed pawn. So let's say we do queen a2. They, for example, continue with 
queen f3 and threatening with rook e2. For example, a7 and rook e2 we are in trouble. Okay, then it means we have no better move but this. Queen to g2, threatening the back rank mate. How do they continue? Well, they definitely cannot capture our knight because of the back rank mate. They have to either create an escape square or bring their pieces back, for example, this move. After which we continue with a7. They have somehow uh, used their other piece, maybe queen to c8, to stop our a7 pawn, but then just b6, b7 and so on. Yeah, that is winning, so queen g2. Okay, no, this is what I expected, a7. Okay, they take. Well, that wasn't clever. Then a8 equals queen. Uh, but uh, let's uh, look at the analysis. So rook e5, queen g2, rook e8, a7. So I expected queen c5 to be played. Uh, at least they cover the a8 square. And maybe they have in mind doing something like that. Because then if I promote, they can simply take. Well, I would continue with such move like that. Uh, they still cannot take this knight, so probably d3. How can I play then? Well, my original idea, well, I can just take actually, and I think it's winning, but uh, my original idea was playing this move. If they play rook e2, I take the queen. If they take my pawn, I take with my knight, and then they play rook e2, I can promote with a checkmate. So, d2, but then I take there with the queen and threaten with a checkmate, so they have to take, then I take on d2 and win this position. Okay, fine. So rook c8, they are threatening to take there on c2, and that is a problem. Uh, well, does it lead to a checkmate? Uh, not obligatory, actually. Well, rook c2, if we take with the rook, it is a checkmate, but if we move the king there, it's not. So rook b2 sacrifice does make some sense, to be honest. So basically we want to play this move because there is no defense of the g7 square. But then rook c2 and our task is to realize whether we are able to survive or not. Of course the most logical continuation here could be this move, but this move provides him with some counterplay, like queen e2 e4 with this move. And we'd better avoid it. Uh, if not, then I will uh, pay attention to this move. But let's talk about queen h6. We create a threat of queen to g7. So they take on c2. We move our king. So how to play then? Uh, rook c1 doesn't make sense. We are able to escape. Uh, well, rook c1, rook c1, queen e4, king a2, and uh, no checks. Uh, so queen h6, rook c2, king b1, rook b2 is another check. Rook b2, then uh, take with the rook. Right or not? Let's talk about taking with the rook. So we take with the rook, I think this is a safer way for the king. Then they play queen e4, which is the only check. We continue with quite a clever move in this position, uh, which is king a1, because if we play king a2, we get a check from c4, king a1, or they capture h1 with a check, but after king a2, the queen is too far to deliver checks. So that is the solution here, king b1, okay, they played this move, that was not clever. Well, we cannot play this, because then we get this. So take, as I originally wanted. So here, instead of this move, I calculated queen e4, which didn't make sense. Now we have to take. They deliver another check, but uh, I don't really see the point 
of doing it because uh, this move simply escapes. For example, queen f1, king a2, queen goes back, and b3 is enough to secure the king's position. Okay, uh, let me show you something here. So rook c1, take on c1, here, here, here. Check on f1 didn't make sense, so what else to consider? Okay, so in this position, rook b2, this is the move I wanted to show you. Well, taken with the king maybe works as well, but uh, what I don't like in this position, uh, that queen b5 and queen c4, and I can, cannot get rid of the checks. But rook b2 helps me. So now there is no check on c1, there is a check on e4, and if I play this move, they just repeat the position. So I play this move, they take my rook, Ah, and in this position uh, I wanted to play this, after which he has no checks, but actually even this move works as well, so it's okay. Fine, uh, let's continue. Uh, king goes to e3. Okay, how can we take advantage of it? Well, this is a pin, and this is probably the main tactical motive that we should um, benefit. However, the bishop is supported with the pawn. We can double, after which they probably escape with the king. Oh, that, that may work. Well, they escape with the king there, for example. And after we take, they take with the bishop, so it looks okay. Or we can capture on f3 right away. Because they can only capture with the king. And once it happens, we should try to get rid of, we should distract the king to capture this bishop, and we can do it with rook f8. Uh, if the king goes to g4 or g2, we take the bishop. And if the king goes back to e3, defending this bishop, then we just double our rooks and there is no defense. So g takes f3. Now to capture this, we should play that. And now we take advantage of the pin. So rook c7, this is a check, and the key answer is how to play. Uh, well, I doubt that this move is a good idea, they take with a check, so I will analyze this move at the very last, um, as the very last option. So let's talk about this move and this. Okay, king b3 is a complete blunder. Oh, no, it's not actually. What about such move like king b1, which looks uh, safer here? So, how they may continue here, king b1, and I don't really see what they can do in order to continue the attack. Okay, let's think, maybe they double the rooks, after which we can play this move. Queen c4 is not a check, so it looks relatively safe. King b1, what else? Rook b8 maybe, but what's the point? Well, to be honest, I do, oh, okay, I do understand it. If they play this move, okay, uh, this move attacking my rook, then rook g2 works. Uh -huh. Okay, they play this move and then this in order to threaten with wizard queen uh, f2. And in such a case, I just need to support with rook g2. Okay, king b1. Okay, this move. Okay, I missed it. To be honest, I missed this continuation, but I should analyze it. So, how to play in this position? Well, we have very nice queen b3 defense. Yeah, we have queen b3 defense. I take it on e6. For example, queen b3. They go there. And how do I defend it? Rook h1. Uh, 
or what else I can do? I can uh, play this move, let him capture the rook, but uh, how do I take advantage of it? Okay. Maybe queen b3 is not the best move. Well, queen e2. Bishop d3? No. So, well, queen e2 actually seems to work. How do they play? Queen e4 maybe? Well, in such a case, I'd better look for this move, but then the problem is this. <laughs> How can they continue then? So queen e6, king goes there. Well, rook g7 is a nice move, but they take with the rook. Okay, queen b3, and this is actually a hard puzzle. I don't know what uh, is uh, what they ask for. And I doubt that this move is the best. For example, this looks looks suspicious. Looks suspicious to be honest. So what should I do? Okay, still queen b3. Well, what do you suggest, guys? Okay, let me check one maybe. After queen b3, queen b6. How you can play queen? Well, the problem is that they play this move and you cannot play queen b6. <laughs> well, queen e2 is wrong because of what? Ah, no, queen e2, uh, your poll means that there is nothing wrong with queen e2. Well, to be honest, yes, it doesn't seem to be a wrong move. Well, bishop d3, what about... Well, I just don't want to block the bishop. So I think this is, a, this is a move. I just need to find how exactly I save my position. So... Queen f2, queen e6, king goes to h8, maybe to f8 as well. No, it's unlikely to work. I don't think it works. So queen e2. Well, queen, queen, ah, on case of queen b3, queen e1, no, queen e1 uh, doesn't make much sense, king a2 then, what's the point? So, queen e2, this queen goes to to a4 probably. To threaten with rook d1, but then I can play king e2. They can play this move. Okay, so queen e2, queen e4. Well, this is a hard puzzle actually. How to continue?
So queen a4, queen a2. Oh, I mean queen a2, queen a4. So they're threatening with rook d1. And they can play bishop g2. Okay, maybe bishop here is the solution. How do I deal with it? Just this move. Okay. And if they try to take advantage of my uh, pin, Well, th this, they can play just this move. It doesn't suit me well. So bishop d3 is not an option. Queen b3 is unlikely to work. Queen e2, queen goes there. Maybe queen e6. Okay. Okay, this is a wrong move. Right. So, no. No, okay, if this move is wrong, then let's try the other option, which is queen b3. Queen b3, okay. Well, I th thought that my instinct told me that something wrong with queen e2. We're gonna analyze it la later. So queen b3 is the second option. What now? Because do we really need to play this move? Okay, oh, maybe this is the idea, oops. So don't do like that. Don't uh, guess the moves on the board. So this is a mistake that you uh, may often um, do. So once you think you are tired with this puzzle, you are trying to play anything. This is a mistake. Okay, let's, let's discuss. So our rook is hanging. If we play this, we blunder here and the rook as well. So rook g7 doesn't make any sense uh, rook h1 is probably possible well the, the, what i don't like about rook h1 is something like that if the king takes its queen there queen to e1 king c2 rook d2 and then some discovery attacks. Well, the king is vulnerable. There should be a checkmate. So not this move. Well, bishop a6 maybe is another candidate move. So we sacrifice the exchange, but we take on a6. Okay, bishop a6. Okay, this is wrong. Okay, I don't understand this position. Okay, then bishop c4. And this is, okay, rook h1. Okay. No, rook h1, then rook c1. Uh, well, let's analyze this position. So you see, uh, chess comps sometimes suggest really difficult puzzles. And you have to... Uh, first of all, what's wrong with queen e2 move? So this is our last puzzle for today. What's wrong with this move? The bad thing here is that they have a strong attack. Uh, I don't know how exactly they win, to be honest. So this move, I doubt. Queen e4, why not? And they threatening with this. So, for example, if we move uh, our bishop. Right? We are covering this square. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe instead of... Instead of doing... Okay. Okay, anyway, queen a4, bishop g2. 
and uh, then we can continue or they can continue with uh, maybe with something like that in order to play rook d2 what does the engine say Queen e2, uh -huh. queen a4 is a mistake because of king a2 simply. This is my second move, but here I just didn't like this line. But I don't think it's an issue. I suggested this move. So, uh, queen d4, that is the problem. Rook g2. However, I still think white is better. I don't see the way how uh, they win the game. But... Uh, Let's talk about this position, queen b3. Queen f2. And this continuation is still uh, playable. This, and here I wanted to play such move like bishop. Like rook d1 first, to threaten the back rank mate. They move their rook away. And, uh, well, maybe just queen e6. So this is also a favorable position for white. But that line was better with rook h1. Then king e2, and I'm able to secure all my pieces. Maybe bishop c4 instead. That's the reason. Okay. Okay, guys. So what do you think about this new format? I'm going to uh, do it uh, um, as the second event per week. So we are likely to do maybe two or three events per week. And one of them will be uh, doing puzzles. The other one will be um, some webinar devoted to positional play, maybe to tactics. Uh, maybe we'll analyze some games. Uh, but and which day do you want me to conduct such event so for example i thought uh, that it can be uh, one of the um, working days let's say monday and uh, which time on monday so it's if it's for example around 1 a.m eastern standard time is it okay for you Okay, queen four, rook d2. Okay, one queen f4. Ah, in this position, well, doesn't make sense. Uh, maybe after this move, queen f4 makes sense. So then I move my mm -hmm. rook d2 is coming. But I can move my queen to a6. Oh, it's so suspicious. Well, what does the engine say? Yeah, it works. So why well, I don't see how they can win. So rook d1, king a2, and even if they take here, there is no perpetual check. Because I cover the c4 square. So middle game, middle game classes are also needed. Okay, so there will be one middle game class on the weekend and uh, puzzle practice during a weekday. So please let me know which working day works for you uh, better and what time. So what time having in mind that i'm uh, plus one hour to eastern uh, standard time so i'm minus five to central european time okay fine guys thank you for coming well puzzle practice is really good it forces your brains to think and i think i'm warmed up that we spend about one hour for this uh, event and uh, maybe it will help me today but I also think that um, reviewing some openings uh, before the game is maybe better. Okay, perfect. So waiting for your suggestions and see you at least next weekend, maybe, uh, maybe earlier next week. I'll announce it. Wednesday. 
When's the same time as today? Uh, well, I have a lot of classes on Wednesday, but maybe it's possible. Okay, maybe it's possible. Don't worry. Fine. Perfect. Thank you for coming and see you uh, next week.